Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate. All right. All right, what do we got going on here? We got the lovers, we got the tower, we got the ten of cups, and we got the death card. The lovers. We go the lovers and then we have the tower, right? That represents a breakup. But then we go right into the ten of cups. And then we go right into the death card. So it's almost like this back and forth, right? The lovers is a connection and coming together. And then the tower is a breakup. And then there's, there's right things that are happening. But then we're happy. But then... We have the death card, so I feel like there's a transition within a relationship. I feel like there's a transition either within the relationship or that there was a recent breakup, but you're transitioning into this Ten of Cups and the death card, like this change and this transformation. I feel that it's a, a good thing. It's either within the relationship or it's, it's something that just happened. What is this tower here? What is this tower? The Chariot, the Six of Pentacles, change, moving toward change within the relationship where the communication becomes clearer, right, there, that I almost feel like there was no communication in the relationship, but I feel like you're Things needed to be changed because I have to I have a feeling that it has to do with sharing or communicating. What is this death card? Death card. Death card. <laughs> Putting an end to um the fighting and the bickering. Let me see. Let's get some clarification on this lovers. That one. Setting down roots. Stability in a relationship. Love it. Positive energy. This tower can also represent that the sun is bursting through, right? That the tower has been built around the sun. What else about this tower? Give me some more on the tower. Thinking about something. Right? It's almost like this woman is looking right at this. She's looking out the window and she's seeing this ten of cups. She's seeing this. Seeing this. That clarity. Right? Because of the tower you now have clarity and you're seeing what this Ten of Cups is. You're seeing clearly now. Oh. Seeing clearly right through, right, that this relationship. Seeing right through to that. And then he is looking at her. And both of them on each side are have this Ten of Cups in the middle. And I feel like that goes with this lover's card here, right? Rebuilding this relationship stronger. Okay, again, we have the tower. We have the death card and then we have the tower. Then we have the star card and then we have that... What it is that needs to be focused on is that the two of you need to be on the same page, that you want to work on this relationship, that the two of you are both going in the same direction of this Ten of Cups within this relationship, right? That you're both traveling together, that you're both on the same page, that you're both see seeing things for what they are and seeing those things that you have to work on in order to achieve this Ten of Cups. I feel like there's sort of this 
rebuilding of this relationship because I feel that you weren't seeing eye to eye. There's, there's this tower moment here. Like I've said before, as I feel that the tower moments, even though they can be scary or they can be disruptive, right? Very disruptive. But I feel like it was needed in order to get things back on track because you both need to see what this Ten of Cups is. And this Ten of Cups that the both of, that each wants has to be the same, pretty much the same between the two of you. Like you both have to have that de destination. You both have to have that direction. You both have to be on the same page of that. And I feel like that you weren't or that th there was, what about this tower? communication communicating I that's what it was is that it was there was not clear communication between the two of you and I feel like there was assumptions that were being made right assumptions or directions or somebody was kind of going on their own path without communicating to the other person or that there wasn't clarity within this relationship the communication is what was lacking right the communication that wasn't clear but I feel like in order for the two of you to get back on track is that you both have to be clear in your communication as to what this Ten of Cups is. It could be that you've been together for a long time and that, you know, sometimes you start to, people grow. People grow in different directions. People want different things. And sometimes we just make assumptions about, oh, this person, you know, should know this or this person should know that. Communication was going haywire here between the two of you. This is what's going on. Things have to be let go of. Things have to be moved on from. And then that's, this seems like a big challenge, but it's not when the communication becomes clear and you're both being guided and you both have the faith and the trust and the belief in this relationship. that you're both on the same path together, that you're both knowing that you're both headed in the same direction, right? So I feel like that's what needs to be going on here. That's, you. I feel like you both want the same thing, but the communication wasn't clear. All right, what's surrounding Capricorn in this reading? Time for a nap, time for a nap. Happy, happy. Love that. Time for a nap. I feel like the time for a nap is kind of taking that time to yourself and to process things and to look at things and to see, okay, what are those things that you can do within the relationship to help this communication, to help this situation, right? Whoa. <laughs> the cards like literally want to jump out here. They literally did. Higher power. I feel that the signs are around you. I feel like the energy is around you. That's trying to show you these things. All right, what else do we have going on here with Capricorn? What's Magician in the mirror. Time for a nap to be this magician in the mirror, to have that time to yourself, to look in the mirror and say, what do I really want in this relationship, right? What do I feel that I can work on, that I can work on in this relationship? How do I get to this Ten of Cups and how do I communicate better? I have the power to change things. I can't change how that other person feels. I can't change what that other person does, but I can change those things that I can do, that I can control, right? I want happy, happy, right? I want to be happy. I want to be I want to have this Ten of Cups. How do I get the, myself into that energy? What are those things that I need to do to get myself into those ener that energy, right? What can I take control of? Door to spirit. We have higher power and door to spirit. Is there one that flipped over? I thought there was. No. I feel like that's getting in touch with your own intuition. I feel like it's 
Again, we have the cross over here, that faith and that belief and that guidance. I feel like there are signs that are around you that are trying to direct you and guide you and give you those messages. What other energies do we have surrounding Capricorn? Deceit. You have to be aware of deceit. Deceit. Falsehoods. Untruths. Right? Deceit. With communication, if it's honest communication, you have that clarity, right? You have clarity. There is no deceit. You have honesty and you have clarity. Not hiding things. This is something that you need to be aware of because this is surrounding this this reading, right? This is in this reading. There's some energies of deceit in this reading. There's some, and that could be with this tower, right? That could, this could be directed towards the tower because there was some falsehoods that were going on here. All right, final energies for Capricorn in this reading. Is there any other energies? Angel of love is surrounding you, okay? Angel of love is surrounding you. And I believe that without a doubt because the two of you, I feel, want to be towards this Ten of Cups. And there's an angel of love that's trying to work this out for you. Communication is a key. Be aware of deceit and beware of, of untruths. Letting go of deceit, right? Because the death card is what do you need to let go of? Putting an end to something but starting something new. Energies that you have to be aware of and, and look at and see. What are those things that you can control and you can do? All right, so I just want to grab one of these. Like I said before, only you can control those actions that you take. You can't make someone else feel or do things. But if you are truthful with your feelings and how you're feeling and you express that to the other person, then how they react is how you can figure out what it is that you want to do. We have Groundhog Spirit, time to let go, definitely without a doubt, with the death card being there. And we have Coyote Spirit, trust in divine detours. Divine detours, right? There may be a detour here. This detour is this tower moment, this tower energy. There is a detour here, but why is there that detour? There's a detour for you to see what is your Ten of Cups, right? What does that represent to you? What, is it, what does it truly represent to you? What does that mean to you? That this may be, a, that, that it's a detour for you to get this relationship back on track if that's what you both want. I feel like you're both looking at that. And I feel like it is the two of you coming together because we have the lovers. And we have the tree which is setting down roots and making it more stable and putting that sun energy around it which is more positive and we have this angel of love that is surrounding the relationship but there's definitely some communication issues and there's some clarity that needs to be done and some things that need to come to light here right within yourself or within each other and that's what you have to be aware of at least being able to see that this is what is around you then this is what you can work on and this is what you can see right and figure things out. Could be the divine detour is taking it time for a nap and that time to yourself to sort through your true feelings. And where do you go from here? All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.